partly happened in, in the United States after the, the Revolutionary War, there was a, a real concern that there was nothing to hold the country together. There was all these states and they had all these different backgrounds and some were Anglicans and some were Baptists and some were Methodists and et cetera. And so there was a real attempt to try to create a, a broad Christian culture, that broad Protestant Christian culture that would unite everybody. And so the education system was really based on teaching A out of the Bible explicitly and then a series of primers that were based on Christian texts. The early um, readers had the alphabet, um, the first letter A, in Adam's fall we send all. You know, each of the letters had a little phrase and they taught the Christian values. Um, so, and then even more so after the Civil War, um, there was again, the country was vastly divided and there was a real attempt, particularly on the part of the uh, Protestant churches and Protestant clergy, to reforge a white Christian tradition uh, an identity in the country and actually to abandon the slave, the ex-slaves, uh, African Americans and, and Native Americans, um, and to create a white Christian identity for the United States that would reunite the country. And so northern churches reached out to southern churches and uh, worked towards the, the sabotage of the Reconstruction period to, to build this cross-sectional um, white Christian identity, white Christian Protestant identity. Um, and so it, it became, and it was explicitly Christian at that point, but it was becoming more and more, it was talked about as being secular, i.e. that it was non-denominational. Um, well, it, it, that, yes, and it means non-Catholic. <laughs> because the other big fear um, was the church and, uh, and the power that the church had formerly had. And then in the mid-19th century, there was a lot of immigrants to this country from Catholic countries like Ireland, Italy, Eastern Europe. And so secular was also explicitly anti-Catholic in that sense. And part of the reader, the, the alphabet, was about the Pope, um, who was the Antichrist <laughs> um, in, you know, throughout the literature of that period. So, yeah. It gets very hard to challenge it because we have separation of church and state, so what more could we want? Um, you know, exactly. And we only define Christianity as certain kinds of formal religious expression not parachurch organizations that are walking the corridors of Washington making, you know, decisions, or the family making foreign policy, you know, impacts in Uganda or Indonesia or Brazil or all the multiple countries they've been involved with. That, that's not defined as Christ, Christian power in that way.